All right, well, let's not waste any time today. Our spotlight speaker today is Mike Barnes. Many of you know Mike Barnes. Many of you have seen him and heard of him. Maybe you've never seen him speak, but today we are going to get some really good stuff from Mike. Mike brings more than 30 years of communication expertise to clients, and he spent 30 of those years as an award-winning television sportscaster, including 29 at KVU TV in Austin. Mike doesn't know this, but I went to UT Austin as well. And for the five years that I don't remember there, I watched you on uh, KVU as a sportscaster. So Mike, it's just like, wow, I know this guy already. Uh, Mike was an incredible sportscaster. During that time, he was voted best of Austin 17 times. Yeah. And he won the prestigious Murrow Award for sports reporting. So this guy is good. Mike has been a sought after speaker and MC for all sorts of prestigious events. And he and his wife, Kim, as team or Barnes Team Media, teach you strategies and coach you to shorten your learning curve and help you be the most impactful and effective communicator you can be. All right, give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Mike Barnes. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. When I hear an adult tell me that uh, they've basically grown up watching me on TV, I feel really, really old. Anyway. Well, all right, let's start things off and tell you that I felt like a failure because nothing I did apparently was good enough. I was a loser in every sense of the word. It was terrible for my self-confidence, my self-esteem, my self-worth. I know from experience that feeling like a failure, I think it drives a hole deep, deep, deep within your soul. Oh, did I mention I was three and four years old at the time? You see, my problem is I have an older sister. Her name is Diane. She's five years older than me. So when I was a kid, she beat me at everything. We'd race across the front yard, she'd win. We'd play basketball in the backyard, she'd win. She was older than me, she beat me there. Taller than me, she beat me there. Heavier than me, she beat me there. Smarter than me, she beat me everywhere there. I had to look for any way possible just to try to win. Let's see, my name is Mike, M-I-K-E. Her name is Diane, D-I-A-N-E. Five to four, she beat me there. I'm a boy, B-O-Y. She's a girl, G-I-R-L. Four to three, she beat me there. I could not win. I was so mad, discouraged, emotional, upset, you name it. I was not happy, but I never stopped trying to win. My mom liked to use an expression, that's my boy. Well, when I was four years old, I was at home doing something, have no idea what I did, but my mom said, that's my boy. I put my foot down, I looked her in the eye, and I said, I am not a boy. I'm a B-O-Y-F-E. My mom immediately knew what I was doing. B-O-Y-F-E, G-I-R-L, five to four. I had finally won. Now, I, I'm not telling you to break the rules of spelling or grammar or mathematics or anything for that matter to win. What I'm saying is don't accept losing. You know, there's a great scene in the baseball movie, The Natural with Robert Redford, where this two-bit motivational speaker, I think that's an oxymoron, is standing in front of the team and says, Losing is a disease. It's as contagious as syphilis or the bubonic plague. It's a funny scene, but it's true. Once you accept losing, that part of your life kind of spirals out of control. Yeah, I could sit here. I could give you a 24-step process about winning, and I guarantee you it would help. But if you're anything like me, you get to around step 12 and realize you forgot step seven and then think, oh, I got to start all over. Then you feel like a loser, and that defeats the whole purpose. So let's keep it really simple this morning. It's three simple steps. Three simple steps. Step number one is set a goal. Set a goal. For one thing, goals are going to motivate you, but you have to be smart about them. I'll, I'll give you a funny example. Let's say that you're on a boat that capsizes in the middle of a lake, a river, the ocean. Well, it's sink or swim. So if your goal is I'm going to swim to survive, that's great. But where are you going to swim to? You know, if you just start swimming, maybe the nearest landfall is over there or over there. And if you're swimming in the wrong, wrong direction, it's going to be hard to win. So set a goal and that goal is going to keep you motivated and you got to be smart about it. That's number one. Number two is make a plan. Make a plan. Let's go back to the middle of the ocean. You've set a goal. I'm going to swim that way to, to reach landfall. So you start swimming. If that's all that you do, start swimming, there's a good chance that the current is going to take you off track. You're going to start going this way, and now you need to take a hard left turn to get landfall over there. Or maybe you see, oh, wait, now I'm closer to landfall over here. You've got to change your, your goal completely. Don't be afraid 
to change your plan or your goal because currents can be strong and the current of life is even stronger. So make a plan and don't be afraid to change it. The third one sounds really simple, but it's the hardest for me and it may be for you too. And that's that you've got to keep trying to win. Keep trying to win. And a lot of that has to do with confidence. And whether it's athletically, academically, personally, professionally, when you're confident, I know for me in, in my past, if you're confident, you're going to keep trying. Losing doesn't, doesn't matter because I'm good. I'm great. I'm going to keep trying. But if you lack that confidence, you want to give up. And that makes it so hard to win. I know that happened for me with girls because my fifth grade girlfriend broke up with me in the sixth grade and I had no confidence for 12 years with girls. I just gave up on them because I knew I had no chance to win. And I didn't win because of that. And a lot of you heard some different stories about that. I could tell lots of stories, but this TED talk would turn into a comedy hour. But the last three years of that stint, I had a crush on a girl. And you've probably heard the story about how I was in a bad car accident and I was basically in a coma. I was in ICU and this girl comes to my bedside in the hospital and touches my arm and says my name. And at that moment, I open my eyes, I grab her hand and I start talking. And yes, it was a miracle. And it's a great story, but it would end right there if I hadn't kept trying to win. And the good thing about brain injuries, if you want to call it a good thing, is that they're very slow to recover. So for many, many, many weeks, I was in a bit of a fog as I slowly got back to 100%. But because of that, I had no inhibitions. I wasn't shy. I wasn't nervous. I was able to be myself. So I called her all the time. I talked to her all the time. I asked her out all the time. I spent lots of time with her. She saw the real me and she fell in love too. And we've been married now for 29 years. And yes, it's a miracle story, but it's a victory because I kept trying. So if you want to win, set a goal make a plan. Most of all, keep trying to win. Thank you. All right. Give it up for Mike Barnes. Wow. Thank you, Mike. Sure. You are awesome. So set a goal, make a plan, keep trying to win. Uh, you've obviously done really, really well. Best of 17 times you have won over and over. <laughs> and uh, I think the goal for us is to try and, you know, emulate some of that fab fabulous, I was going to say fab fabulous, fabulous speaking ability that you have. So thank you very much, Mike.